Hi, I'm Dr. Blythe, and today I will lead you through a grounding exercise. So before we get started, I'd like you to rate your negative feelings from a 0 to 10 scale. With 0 being you are just on cloud 9, you are a newborn baby who has just been fed, and 10 being the worst. So how strongly do you feel negative right now from a 0 to 10 scale? Keep that number in mind because I will have you to re-rate your negative feelings after this exercise. Let's get started. Many people find grounding very helpful. In grounding, the goal is to turn your attention to the outside world and shift away from your inner world of negative feelings. You can detach and distance yourself from emotional pain. If you notice yourself focusing on negative feelings, try to let them go like leaves in a fall breeze. Shifting your attention even stronger on the outside world. You can think of it like changing the channel on a television. You can just turn to a different show. Keep your eyes open the entire time and look around the room that you're in as much as you'd like. Remember that you are always in control. Also, try not to judge anything. Just notice it for what it is. I will give you grounding instructions for about 10 minutes and we will try three different types of grounding. Mental grounding, physical grounding, and soothing grounding. And you can see which would work best for you. I'll be asking you a number of questions. And I'd like you to please answer the questions out loud if you're alone or in your mind if you're in a group. Let's get started. Start by reminding yourself that you are safe. You are here watching this video. Today is, and say what day of the week it is. Now let's try to imagine a buffer between you and all of your negative feelings. Imagine that your negative feelings are bundled up and put into a container. And now try to imagine something that you can put in between you and that container of negative feelings. Perhaps it's a wall, a suit of armor, or a big open field in the country. Anything that creates a safe distance between you and your negative feelings. Good. Now let's focus on the room that you're in. Look around the room. Name as many colors as you can. Good. Now name as many objects as you can. Good. Are there any windows? If so, look outside the window. What is the weather outside? Good. Are there any paintings or posters? If so, choose one and describe everything that you can about it. The colors, the shapes, the content. Excellent. What color is the carpet or floor? How many doors are there? Are the lights fluorescent or yellow?
What color is the paint on the walls? Do you see any words printed anywhere? Anywhere in the room, perhaps a book or a poster or something right in front of you? Good, I want you to choose just one word and read each letter backward. And the reason why I want you to read each letter backward is because I want you to pay attention to the letters themselves as if you're seeing them for the very first time. Go ahead. Terrific. Now let's try naming some facts. Tell me the names of cities, as many cities as you can name. Wonderful. Now tell me the names of all the sports teams that you can remember. Good, how about TV shows? Name as many as you can. Now, take the number 100 and subtract five and notice the new number. Now subtract five again and notice the new number. Keep going. And don't worry if you can't get the math, just let it go. Great, now we're going to try physical grounding methods. Please keep following along with me. Notice your feet on the floor. They are literally grounded, connected to the floor. I want you to wiggle your toes. Now dig your heels into the ground and ground yourself even more. Good. Now touch your chair or the surface that you're sitting on. Tell me everything that you can about it. What material is it made out of? Is it cold or warm? What color is it? Excellent. Now I'd like you to pick up an object any object near you, perhaps a pen or some keys, pick it up and then tell me everything that you can about that object. Tell me the weight, the temperature, the color. Excellent. Now place that object down and I want you to ball your fists into, ball your hands into tight fists, as tight as you can. Then after a few moments, release your fists. Now put your palms together with your elbows out. Place your palms as tightly together as you can. Place all your attention on the palms of your hands. Now release. Now go ahead and roll your head around in a circle or a half circle a few times.
good. Now we're going to try soothing grounding methods. Let's start with favorites. Think of your favorite color. What color is it? Okay. Now think of your favorite animal. What animal is it? Think of your favorite TV show. What TV show is it? Excellent. Now think of your favorite season of the year. What season is it? Think of your favorite time of day. What time of day is it? Think of a favorite person. It may be someone you know, or it could be a famous person. Picture that person. Good. If you want to, now think of a favorite upbeat song and try to remember the tune and the words. Now let's try to think of a safe place. Still keeping your eyes open, think of a place that is very safe, soothing, and calming for you. Maybe a beach, the mountains, a walk in the city, a favorite room, or a park. If you can't think of a safe place, that's okay too. Just let yourself notice this room since we're safe here. Good. Now try to notice everything that you can about your safe place. Notice everything you love about it. The colors, the textures, the shapes the safety and calm of the place. Good, you've done a terrific job. Now, re-rate your negative feelings on a zero to 10 scale, with 10 being the most negative. And tell me, did your ratings change from the beginning of this exercise till the end? I hope you noticed a positive change, and I encourage you to use these grounding exercises anytime you do it with your eyes wide open, again, turning your attention from your inner world of negative feelings to the outside world, redirecting your attention, your focus, and your joy. Please like joy.